Hi, everyone, and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's okay this morning. On our prayer request, pray for Kathy Mulligan's granddaughter. Uh, she's losing the battle with anorexia. And pray for all the people who were affected by Hurricane Ian. Pray for Lucia's son. He has a horrible cough and his chest is hurting. Pray that he gets better soon. And pray for Jamie. Oh, and Lucia, if you have a, uh, let us know if you see this, how he's doing, how your son's doing. And pray for Jamie. He's been sad and anxious about the loss of his friend Crystal. He also has an ear infection. And TCG Fam's brother and niece in Florida have been without power and water for days, and it could take a month to get power back. Pray the power is on sooner. Everyday Soller's daughter has cancer and is chronically ill. Pray she is healed. And Yvonne has an unspoken request. Okay. Our scripture of the day comes from Job 1. 13 through 22. One day when Job's son and daughters, sons and daughters were feasting and drinking wine at the oldest brother's house, a messenger came to Job and said, the oxen were plowing and the donkeys were grazing nearby and the Sabaeans attacked and made off with them. They put the servants to the sword and I am the only one who has escaped to tell you. While he was still speaking, another messenger came and said, The fire of God fell from heavens and burned up the sheep and the servants, and I am the only one who has escaped to tell you. While he was still speaking, another messenger came and said, The Chaldeans formed three raiding parties and swept down on your camels and made off with them. They put the servants to the sword, and I am the only one who has escaped to tell you. While he was still yet speaking, yet another messenger came and said, Your sons and daughters were feasting and drinking wine at the oldest brother's house, when suddenly a mighty wind swept in from the desert and struck the four corners of the house. It collapsed on them, and they are dead, and I am the only one who has escaped to tell you. At this, Job got up and tore his robe and shaved his head. Then he fell to the ground in worship and said, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I will depart. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised. In all this, Job did not sin by charging God with wrongdoing. Okay. And our devotion today is entitled, Grieving and Grateful. After my mom died, one of her fellow cancer patients approached me. Your mom was so kind to me, she said, sobbing. I'm sorry she died instead of me. My mom loved you, I said. We prayed God would let you see your boys grow up. Holding her hands, I wept with her and asked God to help her grieve peacefully. I also thanked him for her rem remission that allowed her to continue loving her husband and two growing children. The Bible reveals the complexity of grief when Job lost almost everything, including all his children. Job grieved and fell to the ground in worship with a heartbreaking and hopeful act of surrender and expression of gratitude, he declared. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised. While Job would struggle mightily later through his grieving and God's rebuilding of his life, in this moment he accepted and even rejoiced in God's authority over the good and bad situations. God understands the many ways we process and struggle with emotions. He invites us to grieve with honesty and vulnerability. Even when sorrow seems endless and unbearable, God affirms that he hasn't and won't change. With this promise, God comforts us and empowers us to be grateful for his presence. When have you experienced gratitude towards God while grieving a great loss? How has God revealed his presence 
when you felt alone or misunderstood in your grief. Compassionate God, thank you for knowing me and carrying me through every step of my grieving process. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. And Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a great morning and I'd love to see you later on on morning coffee break. Bye everyone and God bless.